ability camping offers hyperbaric oxygen as an alternative therapy for children with cerebral palsy and other disorders in combination with our conductive education program or as a standalone therapy. We also offer hyperbarics to adults who have suffered a stroke, have MS, cerebral palsy, or for those who suffer with fibromyalgia. In this simple diagram, the area in the blue represents our hyperbaric chamber. The white balls in the balloon represent oxygen molecules. As we increase the air pressure in the chamber, this pressure pushes the oxygen molecules closer together. When you are in the chamber, your red blood cells are now capable of carrying more of this concentrated oxygen, and some oxygen can even dissolve into the blood plasma, the fluid that carries the blood cells. Plasma is capable of getting into very narrow places, even places the red blood cells may be too large to travel. The real question behind hyperbarics as an alternative therapy is what does the central nervous system do with these elevated levels of oxygen? Some doctors in the hyperbaric field perform spec scans before and after a series of hyperbaric sessions. These scans, taken before hyperbarics, show people with cerebral palsy and other brain injuries to have areas of the brain that appear to be underactive and following the hyperbaric therapy these same areas of the brain show higher levels of activity. Several children with cerebral palsy that have come here having spastic clenched fists and after having hyperbaric therapy they have been able to relax and open their hands. This ability may not seem to be earth-shattering to most of us, however this child now has the opportunity to learn to feed themselves or even just have the ability to pick up and play with a toy. Ability Camp tries to make hyperbarics available to families and individuals at a price far lower than anywhere else in North America. This way, more people have the opportunity to try hyperbarics and to decide for themselves if this therapy is helpful for their situation. Next in this video, you will see some of our hyperbaric clients talk about their experiences at the camp and the progress that they have made. We're the Griffith family. We currently reside in Cleveland, Tennessee. Rickson, um, who has uh, paralysis on, or he did, <laughs> have more uh, paralysis on his right side and his right arm and his right leg. I've seen tremendous changes in the last three weeks in Rickson. We really started noticing a difference within really the first week we were here. His right arm started getting more relaxed. His right foot became totally flat to the ground. He was walking without any hint of limping whatsoever. Uh, then he started to use his right hand um, a lot more than he ever did. He got more dexterity in his fingers, in his right hand. Uh, he would reach and grab for things with that hand that he never uh, would have reached and grabbed for before. Um, uh, he wanted to reset. He can use his thumb now, which he's never been able to use his right thumb before. So he's able to grab things and have more control. He can turn lights on and off. For the first time, he can take a picture with the camera and use both hands. He can use his fingers. And he can put his both hands around the basketball and hold it. And he's never been able to do it. His hand would turn like this, but now he can hold a ball like this. For you to wash his hand, you have to sort of pry it around and put it under the sink to wash his hand. But now his arm is like this. Instead of being turned this way, it's this way, and you can wash his hand. He can shake hands, and he just wasn't able to do that before, so he's made lots of improvement. And because he's more confident and secure about not falling down, we, are, uh, we don't feel like we have to hover over him and protect him from falling. And we also notice that since we've been here, he hasn't fallen as much. He used to fall quite quite often, but now, um, since he's had his H bot section, he hadn't. He, since he, the first week, I can't even recall a time where he's yeah, really fallen at all. I 
don't think he's fallen since he's been here. Rickson was able, or he is able now, to go up and down flights of steps or stairs unaided. We, uh, at home, we live on the second uh, floor of an apartment building and we're always holding on to his hand, coming up and especially down the stairs. Yesterday, um, I went outside uh, for a moment and he came down the stairs right outside the building here by himself, went down them totally without assistance at all. And he's really, really a lot more confident in himself. He, he often says, since we've been here and had the treatment, you know, you don't have to hold my hand or I can do it by myself. And he really can do it by himself as opposed to having to have help. And um, he's <laughs> just really made a lot of progress. He's able to take care of himself better. Hey, Rickson's never been able to climb before. And since his treatment in HBOC, he, he's able to climb all by himself. He's never been able to grasp and hold on. He would always fall and we'll always have to help him up or push him up. Now he can climb ladders all by himself. He's never been able to climb up a slide. We always had to help him. But now he just took off by himself and surprised us. And we're just real thankful. He's not falling. He can climb up and down one hand over the other all by himself. So we're just very happy and thankful for h -Bot. Thank for Ability Camp because they're very affordable, the accommodations are nice, the treatment, the staff are all wonderful, and we're just happy to be here. Uh, I wanted to say that it has been a dream of ours to, for him to have H-Bot therapy, and it always seemed like it was unattainable, but Ability Camp has made it attainable, has made a dream come true. And we're just so happy, so thankful that it's finally happened. And his life will be better because of Ability Camp and the Age of Tree. We came in February of 03, and Jack, uh, a week into the hyperbaric chamber, Jack, our Jack started talking much more. He would be trying different words rather than the same maybe theory that, that he had. And his focus, like he would totally sit on the couch and look through a book where he'd never do that before. Um, and by the time we got home, at first we thought we were imagining things, but when we got home and the other preschoolers said, hey, Jack can talk, we knew that um, it was totally from the hyperbaric chamber. Because, uh, he was putting sentences together by the time we ended up getting home where he would only have a couple of words like go out or come here. Um, by the time we were leaving he was, you know, was five word sentences almost. He, um, for the first time, initiated conversations as well. He uh, would ask a question of a child rather than we're always saying, okay Jack, say hi or whatever. Um, he started initiating, which I thought was huge. Um, and finally the kids are trying to listen to him to see what he has to say. I couldn't question the reason he started talking. It was right after the five weeks and he was talking. I couldn't attribute it, attribute it to anything else other than the hyperbaric chamber. It was uh, that amazing. And you know, in combination with the hype, with the con conductive education, it was amazing because uh, you know he's so strong now and sits up tall usually. Uh, it was great. I'd recommend it to anybody. I thought the speech part of it was was a miracle for us. Christopher was a full-time child. He had a stroke while he was still here. Um, he had his first seizure at 8 days old. Um, he couldn't use his right hand very good. Say hi. Um, that was a dramatic improvement we've noticed since, just since we've been here. Um, Christopher's speech has improved. Um, he's able to put uh, more sentences together to like two words, uh, Mama Go. Um, Christopher put a ball in his hand for the first time and closed it without even thinking. Having to think about to do it, he just did it. And uh, I cried. Um, it's just
just a wonderful program for you. Just we need more people to know that. You couldn't walk up or down a hill without falling. Um, and now he does that without even thinking. He just goes down and comes back up. His balance is better. He's able to catch himself before he falls. Where before he wouldn't do that. He would just walk. I think he's much more aware of his arm than he was before. He never used it, he didn't care, it was dead. Now he knows it's there and he's using it. He's moving both of his arms together. Okay. Normally he would just stay there and he'd take it like that and get frustrated. He was just like just that. Like that. Uh. Something <laughs> he hasn't done before. We've learned so much from other parents. Parents helping parents and children helping children. It makes it seem a little easier knowing. I mean, you always know that there's other people that have the same problems you have. Talking to them, being with them, living with them for a couple of weeks, it makes you feel a lot better about your, your own family and everybody else's. Not different. Not different. Christopher never wore shorts. This is the first time he has worn shorts away from Paul because I don't like people looking at his legs and his braces and I would never put him in shorts. I'd change him and put him in blue jeans and you couldn't tell. Well here I'm like, well, I'm going to put shorts on you because you're the same. You don't have to prove yourself here. There's other children that are worse off than yours and there are other children that are better off than your children. We don't compare our children. When a child does something, walks with a cane for the first time here, everybody feels that happiness, not just the parents. Everybody feels that. When Christopher says a word or says good morning to somebody, everybody feels that. All right, you know, everybody's really encouraged you. Just go the next step, go the next mile, go together. And you're doing it as a team here, and that is just, it's very important. There's always, don't let money be an issue. Find a way. Don't let money stop you. The first time I came, I came for three weeks for just the oxygen. When I went home the first day back, I got a call from his special ed, the head of special ed from the school, his therapist, and the school nurse, because they could not believe the changes in And because they were so great, I turned around three weeks later and came back for three more weeks. And again, we again saw amazing changes. So I've been here three times in six and a half months. I put him in the conductive, which was hard because he was older. But again, like she said, it's something to start with and work forward. Um, he couldn't bend his legs out straight. He's now got his legs straight out on the floor. My husband couldn't believe the change he saw in him in the three weeks that he went home for and came back. So yes, I see big changes in him. The oxygen has been a big help because uh, she seems to be a, a lot more talkative instead of like just string three words together to tell, tell you what she wants she'll do sentences of like ten words you know so she's really you know, a little more articulate and uh, I was really happy about that you know hello I'm Lorraine Campbell I'm from Nebraska and about three years ago I had three strokes during open heart surgery and I couldn't taste anything. I never felt full. I never felt hungry. And since coming to Ability Camp with Hyperbaric Chamber, I really feel hungry sometimes, and I really feel full when I eat. And I can taste things. It's wonderful. I can taste a cheese sandwich. I haven't tasted anything in three years. I'm really glad I found that Ability Camp. My daughter found it on the internet. It's a wonderful place. People are so nice here. The price in the United States is so high. It's very expensive and we can afford that. So the price here is very affordable. They have a place where we can stay. We stayed for three weeks and no charge to stay, just to charge for the hyperbaric chamber. We've met wonderful friends here that we'll never forget, my daughter and I. Anybody that's had a stroke, I would really recommend if 
Disability Camp in Picton, Ontario, Canada. And the three weeks that you spend here really cost you nothing, except your food that you eat. They have a kitchen and several bathrooms. And you have a good sized bedroom. It's really a nice place to be. Like I said, I really recommend it for anybody that's had a stroke. Okay, this is Miguel, it's her son. Um, it's a little boy of 20 months now. He was uh, in perfect health until six months, but something happened at six months, and we don't know what's happened. And Miguel was in a coma for nine days, and he woke up with a brain injury, a severe brain injury. The doctor tell us to do nothing, and don't think about nothing, and Miguel is going to be a vegetable for the rest of his life, and he was blind. So we try to find something to do with Miguel and we find the hyperbaric treatment and we look everywhere and we decide to come here at the Ability Camp and we came for one first 4D treatment. So when we came uh, at the first we didn't know if it's going to work or no and we were really happy because after 20 treatment able to eat only strained and it was really really hard to make him eat he was ah uh, I didn't want to eat nothing but after the 20 treatment he started to eat cookies more bigger peas and when we went on after this 40 treatment a week and a half after he started to eat everything like me and my husband and my daughter he eat pizza hot dog big piece and everything and another thing which changed really a little bit Last, the, the first time was the eyes. Miguel started to see a little bit and he was um, follow some toys and everything. But we came back for another 4D treatment and the class of the conductive head. And now we did uh, another 20 head treatment. And Miguel see lots of time better. He really followed more the toys. Uh, he could look at us and smile if we smile to him and it's not all the time but it's vision it's really better and he is more here he, he play and when he wants something and doesn't want he just tell us by his expression and everything and he talk more he just say this morning uh, daddy I love you and he say he say a lot I love you but he say mama papa if you would like further information about Ability Camp, you can visit our website at www.abilitycamp.com or give us a call on our toll free number at 1 800 442 6992.